Hi guys, Prashant here and welcome to Make Market here. And today in this video I'm going to share about one interesting thing that I found and I generally use uh, when I work with advertisers uh, who are generally into e-commerce uh, verticals. See, the idea behind creating this video is this question. When you have an e-commerce site, you have all the other people write descriptions and, and, and also comments. Sometimes what happens is when people or pro potential prospect goes to that point where they read the comments and end up not making a purchase. So now you wanted to track as to how these comments are affecting the purchase journey of a user. And for this, what you have to do is you have to understand as to how many people come to that product page and scroll down to the very bottom to, 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 to see as to what people have to talk about these uh, products in the comment section. So how are you going to track them is the question. So to use these things, we introduce or we use two triggers or two conditions in a trigger. We will use scroll depth trigger and we will not let this trigger fire on all pages, but we will let this scroll depth trigger fire only on a particular page that you want to track or only on particular category of products. For example, I'll give you, I will explain another way. Imagine I have a website and when people come to my website at the bottom of my page, I have a small offer. And now I wanted to understand as to how many people came to the very bottom and saw that offer. Because I want to capture them in a list or I want to create a custom audience of those people who ended up going to the very bottom. That tells me that those people have seen my offer and I can put them in a separate custom audience and can serve them those offer ads. Now question is how am I going to capture those people who go to a particular page to the very bottom or particular category of pages to the very bottom. The particular page where they go to very bottom to see an offer or maybe particular category of products where they go to bottom to see the comments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a scroll depth trigger in Google Tag Manager and I'm going to create a custom event in Facebook and I'm going to send this information back to Facebook so I can create custom audiences in Facebook. So let's jump right in. Right. So I go to Tag Manager. In the Tag Manager, I created one trigger and the name of the trigger I gave is Homepage 100% Scroll Trigger. And I've chosen the trigger type to be the scroll depth and I get the percentage as 100 because I want the scroll depth threshold to capture only the 100%. And I'm tracking the vertical scroll depth and here I'm saying, no, it should not trigger on all pages because I want this trigger to fire only on that particular page where you have the offer at the bottom or only those category of pages. Now, if you can, you can very well have another tag where you can send events to Facebook or Google Analytics where people scroll down to 25%, 50%. So you understand as to how people navigate on the site, right? But here I'm tracking only those people who end up going to the very bottom. I want to put them in separate audiences or separate list. So I am creating a trigger scroll depth trigger and I and I give the percentage 100% because that is what I want the scroll depth threshold to hold and I'm saying not all pages but only on particular pages. So I give the page URL is homepage which I'm tracking for makemarket.com. So I want to track only those people who come to my homepage and go to the very bottom. So I understand yes these people are reading my content. Now scroll depth threshold I put it as 100. Now this is the, this is the trigger that I've created and uh, I have created another tag and this is a custom uh, event. So I say FBQ and track custom. This is a syntax. And I'm passing the event as the name of the event is home page scroll complete scroll. And I'm passing the parameters as well. So this is the custom event. And I'm saying this is the name of the event. And this is these are the parameters. And what value will be passed here? Again, it refers to the trigger. In the trigger, I said 100%. Right? And, and whenever people go down to my website, you see, when people go down to my website, this is my website. Just come down. I'm going to the very top. Let, let me refresh my page. I'm in the preview mode and the website, uh, the, the browser in a special environment where it shows you the debug console, uh, the preview and debug. Now I'm waiting for the site to load. I have this pixel helper. This tells you as to what information you're passing from your website to Facebook. You see? The first one is page view. Now when I scroll down, when I scroll down, when I scroll down, you see scroll depth went 25%. I'm tracking those scroll depth as well because I want to see how engaging my content is. Now when you scroll down to the very bottom, which is 100%, I am passing another event, a custom event. Remember home page scroll. That is what we've added here, you see. So whenever people go down to the 100% of my page scroll 100%, I'm sending a custom event to Facebook as home page complete scroll. You see this? And this is passing a depth value as 100. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to analytics as well. Just go to analytics. I'm trying to refresh it. Analytics of my pixel, the Facebook analytics. And when you come back, you'll find that particular event getting triggered. And that gets also recorded in Facebook analytics. So I can create a custom audience based on whatever filters I want to apply. This is my pixel. You see, home page. Now here I'm saying, I only want those events, not all events. I want only those events which are, which are like home page complete score. You see, 10.58, what's the time now? It's 10.59, that's when this event was fired. So what I can do is I can create a custom audience based on this particular criteria. And I can create a custom audience and I can serve the match. Because I know these people are people who scroll down to complete bottom. Maybe they saw my offer, so I can show them my ads. Or these are the people who happen to scroll down through my big website completely to the bottom. If you're working with e-commerce, maybe you can use this feature to try and track as to how many people end up going to the comment section. And you can capture them in some audience. And that way you can you can understand as to how they behave. And this might, this might be of help when you're working uh, in an e-commerce company or working for an e-commerce website. Or you're working with an advertiser where he has good content or long content and he has multiple offers at multiple places and you can be creative you can try and uh, see how this works out for your website or the kind of business that you're doing I hope this will really help some set of people to try and serve relevant ads to people based on how they navigated my site and uh, please let me know if you're interested or uh, to know more about such content I'd be happy to share more such content this is what we teach in make market and bootcamp this is not a regular bootcamp. You will not learn about campaigns and all those things. No, you learn about those in-depth strategies. Anybody can create a campaign. Just because you can create a campaign doesn't mean you're an expert. You have to learn these in-depth skills and that is what you will learn in this bootcamp. So if you're interested to learn digital marketing, to make a career from it, you have to learn these skills. Without this, this is not going to work out. So, and, and you please go to our website and check more information about the bootcamp course or go to our uh, channel and subscribe to our videos. I'm sharing some advanced in-depth videos which will really help you in your journey of digital marketing. Thank you so much and I will get connected to you with another video soon. Thank you.